Hi, uh, welcome to a Kaldheim, another Kaldheim quick draft. So I tried one last night. I went four and three with uh, Boros Agro with a few equipment cards, a few, a couple of um, combat tricks as well. Uh, so yeah, that was that was pretty good. And uh, so I thought I'll try try another one. I'll just uh, yeah, let's just start it off here. I'm just going to double check everything's uh, working. There we go. And I have read just read another um, guide. So let's well let's first pick this rare. So we are I am trying to uh, improve my uh, collection. So green red. I think this is a pretty good finisher, isn't it? So we might be in green red. I am just going to double check for a second. Uh, the guide, I sort of, I, I looked at the draft sim guide yesterday, and today I've gone through the cardgamebase.com uh, draft guide. It is interesting because you get diff a different uh, point of view, <laughs> which, and they rate the cards slightly differently. So some people, the first guide, um, does put a lot of emphasis on uh, run amok they, they, they value that they think that's definitely worth playing and then other guides will say that that's kind of trash <laughs> so uh, it's kind of interesting but I can I can kind of see both sides of it anyway let's get back to the draft right we have waking the trolls uh, it doesn't have any uh, snow requirement so this is we don't know if we're going to be playing a snow deck or not yet. Uh, and there is, uh, we have a green and blue snow land there. So that is something to just remember. You've got to um, draft all your snow lands. So we'll make a decision on that sooner rather than later. But uh, we've got some interesting uncommons here, it looks like. So this is one of the equipment cards that can make... A token creature if you have enough mana so for five mana it looks like you'll get a four four menace so yeah that's i'd say that's a pretty good card because it can also just be an equipment card for two mana but it is equipped for it's quite an expensive one but quite good now Ferger, judge of valor double black and white and two flying lifelink two four okay whenever you cast your second spell uh, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest in the graveyard. That that could be fantastic. I mean, that's persistent card draw. That could absolutely be a bomb. That's worth considering. And the first first five cards, you just want to you want to pick the best card uh, in the in the pack. Uh, it doesn't go with waking the trolls particularly, but um, we might pick it anyway. And we've got um, a green land. It's got a green and white ability. Sacrifice it, put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures you control. They gain vigilance and lifelink till end of turn. Okay. Um, so that's that seems just okay for sacrificing a land and paying four mana. don't think we need to worry too much about that. So I think it's so far in the uncommons, Verger seems fantastic. Uh, and then looking through the commons, yeah, Battlefield Raptor is all right. MC Invader, Feed the Serpent is fantastic. So that's the best black card in the set. Be the best black common, I would say. <laughs> Let's not say the best black card, best, best black common. Just a really good removal card. Right, two one creature, yeah. And then we've got the uh, the one two reach elf. That's that's a pretty good one drop, isn't it? King Harold's revenge seems good. It's kind of like a green removal spell. If we want to stay in uh, in our with. Um, Waking the Trolls. Uh, I 
think King Harold's Revenge might be the best card here. Pick up the removal. A, if we want to pick the best card, we pick Furcher, Judge and Fowler. It's going to be hard playing both of these cards in the same deck. So I think we'll try just picking the best card. We'll pick Furcher. Right, uh, let's have a look at these uncommons. Kaya's Onslaught. Okay, looks like a combat trick. Creature gets plus one, plus one, and double strike. Cost three, but uh, and you could foretell it for one. So, yeah. I mean, it is just a combat trick at the end of the day. Um, foretell is going to have greater synergy with Furger. That's going to help you set up big turns where you cast two spells. Frost Pyre. Arcanist, Giant Wizard. Cheaper if you get Giants and Wizards. Okay, right. You can get card advantage. You can search your library for an instant sorcery with the same name as a card in your graveyard. So that's pretty terrible for draft, isn't it? You're unlikely to get two copies of any card. You might do, but um, this is gonna definitely going to be one of those late picks for your your giant deck or your wizard deck, I suppose. And we've got Invasion of the Giants. Scry 2. I saw someone play this, actually. Um, it can do... If you reveal a giant card, it does 2 damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Okay, it's not creature removal. It just pings your opponent. And then it makes a giant cheaper. Yeah, that's good. Really good support for your Giants deck, I suppose. Um, but I don't think either of these Giant cards are good enough to move us away from either of these strategies. We'll just see what... Ah, right. Bounding Gold is fantastic. So that's uh, a nice pacifism effect. Um... Compared to the 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 new set, new Capenna, I think there aren't as many sacrifice effects in this set. I I could be wrong, but I would I've seen this card rated highly, so that suggests there aren't as many sacrifice effects. So it's probably this is probably the best card so far in this pack. I've heard uh, well, people. The first guide I said, uh, first guide I read. <laughs> said Skull Raid is in the top three black commons, but that should tell you how bad uh, black commons are. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it's... But this, it's like an improved version of those um, discard cards where your opponent loses two. Because then it, if it doesn't, if they don't have enough cards to discard, you get to draw a card. It becomes a card draw card, so it's 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 fine. It's kind of kind of decent. Has has some upside when you draw it late game. Uh, yeah, dwarven reinforcements. Uh, yeah, I had this yesterday. This was uh, this is an excellent card, I think. Did use shackles of treachery yesterday. I could have. If only I'd done. I think it was a case of if I'd done two more damage to my opponent, or I'd had an extra, kept an extra treasure token, I'd have actually just stolen a victory with this by by top decking it on the last turn. But unfortunately, I left him on two life. I couldn't equip my sword. Uh, I didn't have. I'd had just one more on a short of equipping my Valkyrie sword, which is a shame. Okay, Mammoth Growth. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a combat trick. And Sculpture of Winter, yeah, that's yeah, good. a good green card. You're going to need some snow lands to make it work. Shimmer Drift Veil. Oh, that's nice. So that is mana fixing. Um, and it's a snow land as well. well that's really good. We've got the ice tunnel, so 
I think it's between Shimmer Drift Vale and Bounding Gold. The more fixing I have, the better chance I could actually play both of these cards in the same deck. Um, but giving up a really good removal card... Do I, can I afford to give up a really good removal card? The, uh, from reading the guides, what I know is the, you know, there's a white-black double spell deck and it is not rated very highly. It's one of the weakest decks. But the green-red monsters deck is considered to be pretty decent. Um, I think at the end of the day, that is just a pacifism effect. It's just another removal card. I hopefully can pick up more removal later. I think I'm going to pick up Shimmer Drift Fail because that, that's going to enable a lot more, uh, quite a few strategies. I mean, Sculpture of Winter is going to start looking playable. Let's get the Shimmer Drift Fail. And potentially this could be the top end of my deck. If I can, <laughs> if I can play both of these cards, so that's going to be pretty good. Uh, so uncom we've got one uncommon, Fearless Liberator. Right, a decent two drop, and we can boast to make a token creature. That's good. That's really good. Okay, we, um, this guy's not considered to be very good. I've just... Um, I think I read just uh, another guide I read was by Jim Davis, and he had a list of cards which you should avoid drafting, and this was number one because <laughs> you uh, it's just a hill giant. It's three three for three, and it's it costs mana to make it impactful. Okay, so this goes with my double spell deck. I gain life, and I can foretell. So there's definitely foretell and double spell go together. Uh, I'm going to have a tough decision on whether I'm going sort of green red monsters or uh, double spell. It'd be ni what would be nice because uh, I'm kind of committed to double black with this guy, this lady. Uh, it'd be good to get some nice black cards to justify playing black. Because you can't really splash a double black card. That said, again, I've got to got to pinch myself and remember. Let's let's always pick the best card uh, in in the first five packs. Now this is a zombie berserker. Enter the battlefield. Two creatures get plus one zero and get indestructible. Helps you just throw in a, uh, an attack. And he's a 4-4 four, four for 5 mana. And the runner mock. Right, squash. That's, that's uh, a really good red card. Really good red removal. You can enchant the land. So that's um, some green mana fixing. And, and it's ramp as well. Okay, I think in this case, because um, we are we are sort of stuck between a few different strategies here, that this guy lends himself to a low to the ground aggro deck, which I feel like we're not doing. I think instead we're going to go squash. Okay, right, yeah, forging the Tyrite sword, that's for the, you know, your equipment deck, so I didn't even use it yesterday. I'm actually I'm actually kind of regretting that, because it might have been quite a good way of getting my Valkyrie sword out, which wouldn't have cost me an armory. Uh, cheap white creature, still what Valkyrie's really good, really good white flyer. Um, 
old vein pick is a really good equipment that we discovered yesterday with the aggro deck. Um, but I think I think we can get the stalwart Valkyrie. I think that's the best card here in the pack. And now we've now got to see after five cards. Let's think about where we are. We're in four different colours. <laughs> We've got a double black already. Um, but with a huge payoff, I think. You get that and it doesn't get killed. You start casting two spells a turn. Um, then you're in a very good position to win. kind of don't want to go into a, uh, a third, a, f a fifth colour <laughs> with Glimpse the Cosmos. Now we've got a squash, we are thinking, hmm, it'd be quite nice to get a giant. I could get, I get, could get an Agar the Freezing Flame as well. <laughs> uh... And again, he's card draw. He's a bit like uh, Furger, but a lot cheaper. And if we want a black creature, Jarl of the Forsaken can destroy things that got damaged. And it's got flash. That, that makes it quite good. Um, Draugr Recruiter. Hmm, can bring stuff back. That's, that's not too bad, is it? guess I don't really want to go into fifth color. At the moment we could sort of splash for red and green. Uh, okay, I think I'm think I'm going Jala the Forsaken. Let's let's try this out. We are a very expensive deck. We don't have anything cheap. I guess because we're not going to commit to any anything cheap until we know what colours we're playing. I think way way down is a good removal card. Uh, Code spell cleric kind of goes well for the double spell deck. That's next is yeah. Let's let's grab the way down. Ah, oh, in the um, skull can. Direct damage, makes them discard. It's pretty good. That's the armory. Doesn't get to be a snow land, unfortunately. That would, that would help. Yeah, so Berserker wants to be power 3, so it goes well with uh, equipment. Three one life link. Okay, village right. Shackles of territory. I mean, that's that's a cheap, decent creature. Um, but I think uh, I fancy this uh, skull can because it looks like we might have red in the deck. Great Hall of Starnheim. That's the Black White Land. That's really cool. So almost certainly we get that one. Hmm. 
Okay, great hold stun hunter. Let's grab it. And Bretagard Stronghold is back. I don't think we go quite that far unless there's nothing better. There is King Harold's Revenge. Um, there's a chance we're still playing green. Blue, black, snow land. So just to remind myself, why do I need snow? Is there anything that needs snow? Not really. Yeah, Dwarven Reinforcements is pretty good. It looks... it's looking like... Black and white. I think... Let's take the reinforcements, that's just the best card there. Dogged Pursuit, alternative um, victory condition. Oh, we actually get um, a big creature. tricky isn't it I think I'm gonna take the dogged pursuit okay cheap black creature or a snow-covered swamp I mean that's I think Elderfang's disciple is just fairly solid let's uh, grab that drag a recruiter for sure that's decent let's oh and then we get a, a last pick kennel master that's decent okay and I'm very happy to see multi land. Probably don't play it. It's uh, giving us blue. These things don't count as snow lands or something silly like that. No. Right. Uh, so we just got loads of black cards. So black does get underdrafted, so you can get quite a lot of black cards as late picks. I think I like Stalwart Valkyrie more than Dwarfen Reinforcements. So I think we're just going to simplify this a little bit. Um, drop all of these. Drop Waking the Trolls as well. Uh, and we might splash Red Mana for Squash. What, so that's that's what it looks like after pack one. There is another Shimmer Drift Veil in this pack. First of all, it's worth considering. Uh, yeah, there's that uh, combat trick. Vega the Watcher does cost blue. It works really well with Fortel. Uh, don't so that's another card draw engine which we do like but I don't know if we can afford to do that right uh, tricks to gods highest you can exchange control of two card target creatures well, that's pretty huge Oh, 
on basic non-creature permanents. Well, that just seems really, really good, that one. Uh, that's another thing we can splash blue for. Or we can get a Shimmer Drift Veil. Um, as good as that is, yeah, getting, a f getting into another colour, uh, not too keen on it. I think, let's, let's grab the Shimmer Drift Veil and, uh, we'll see what wheels around. <laughs> okay, another Immersturm Skull Cairn. That's the green-black one. Get two one ones, and something gets minus two, minus two. cheap black one drop you can um, do a little drain if you don't try it so it's a bit of card draw good thing good way to use your uh, use up your artifact disciple I suppose and you can sacrifice your anything that's got bound in gold yeah I was, I was that's what I was talking I nearly got bound in gold earlier I feel like I don't want a second Skull Cairn. Getting a, a cheap black creature might be pretty good. I'm sure Village Rights will wheel around. I think I'll go for the cheap black creature. There's no white creatures. Sort of being starved of white cards a little bit here. My invasion of the giants again. It's a changeling. Okay. The only thing we're seeing are uh, invoke the divine in white. We can grab another dusk wheel there. Okay. Okay. And there's another uh, King Harold's revenge. Getting cheap cards does work for with the double spell strategy. I suppose. Ah, now that guy uh, is pretty good. And this guy works with snow. That's like the best, probably the best black common. Right, we want the Berserker, just a 3-2, not that exciting. Um, so I guess we've got two snow things. Let's get a Priest of the Haunted Edge. Alpine Meadow looks good. Beamscar Oracle. Not a bad idea. We'll grab the Alpine Meadow, meadow so we've got another snow land, I think. Trickster God's Heist is back, my goodness. Some good red cards. We've got shimmer, two Shimmer Drift Veils. Maybe this is uh, this becomes playable. I feel like there's got to be a way of fitting this in the deck. So let's let's go for it. Do 
dual strike. Okay, cool. We've uh, so there's Doom Scar Oracle and Goldmore Champion. That's sort of for an aggressive deck. Um, I think we maybe we go Doom Scar Oracle because we're trying to do we're trying to double spell. Okay, so I guess it's. Disciple. Another tricks to God's heist. Or a battlefield raptor. So let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's pick these up. <laughs> these seem good with um, crappy black creatures. Let's pick up the village rights. It's not a good use for that. I don't think we can main deck that. King Harold's Revenge. Sure, let's go. Got another one. Bind the monster is a good removal spell, but we need blue. We might be splashing blue, but let's put that sideboard back for the moment. Suit. What have we got here? Blessing of Frost, no sorcery, green. Hmm. That seems good. Okay, let's, uh, let's grab that. Could we splash for that card, maybe? Right, Valkyrie Sword. We know this is a good card. Uh, or. I mean that basically that's a seven drop creature. Uh, I'd feel better about if I can search for it and if I've got ramp. This uh, just makes a four four. But uh, yeah, you stone rain yourself in the process. But it's you know it's cheaper. This one. Iron verdict is good. Right. Artifact or enchantment, let's start that course up there. Think I feel like we need the removal spell here. Another dusk wielder. Two is probably enough. Death knell berserker. Warhorn Blast. There's also Cyril's Pack Mate. That's that's one of the best cards. Are we are we splashing for green? Mm, just for just for a Cyril's Pack Mate. But I don't think so. This is a lot of Squeal, this is it? Okay, three of them. That's yeah. I think another two drop is necessary here. We're in, we're in pack three. Let's. Uh Got a lot of four drops here. So we don't know if we can play that. Just put that in the sideboard for the moment. Maybe we can get away with a 
squash. I don't think we've got any giants. Oh. Crush the weak. Yeah, that's a good uh, red removal spell. That kills all of my own creatures as well. It's not as likely to be good. Another Doomscar Oracle. Dogged Pursuit, Child of the Forsaken. I think Child of the Forsaken actually goes really well with my deck, uh, with lots of sort of cheap creatures, so. Oh, there's so many Vega the Watchers, you could have had three or four of them, probably. Basque, Shield, May, Death Knight, Berserker, or, um... Ah, oh, no. Uh, yeah, Blue, White, Snow Land. Blue, White, Snow Land. Let's, let's go for it. We've got how many snow... I think that puts us at four. It's Priest of the Haunted Edge not looking great at the moment, but uh, another Jarl of the Forsaken, or we can go for the island. Jarl of the Forsaken, I think. have any flyers <laughs> uh, yeah I might have a bit of a problem with the flyers I've got a stalwart Valkyrie Verger and the um, Great Hall of Stonehope I suppose okay with the crown that was quite effective um, Yesterday I had I lost a lot of life and I had to eventually sacrifice my creature. Colossal Plow's not gonna work too well. Spawn effigy, not the cheapish creature. Yeah, let's go with the Wither Crown. Here I fancy the Goldbane pick. Huh. Okay, Nico defies destiny. Bit of a foretell uh, payoff. Another priest, snow covered plains. Kind of tough. Well, I think, yeah, we'll take another one and we'll just see how many snowlands we can get. Oh my god, it's the Great Hall of Starnheim. Yeah, yes, please, we'll have another one of those. Um, the Mountain, Dusk Wielder. Sure, we'll have another snow covered mountain. Um, Dogged Pursuit again, Demonic Gifts. Okay, let's try the Gifts. The Berserker Snow Covered Island. Maybe we use that. I don't know. Undersea Invader. No. Oh, I do not know about this deck at all. <laughs> mm, iffy. Uh. That is white or blue mana, by the way. This the tricksters. I think the tricksters gods, uh, trickster gods, heist. 
could be pretty good, and maybe we should play it. <laughs> because I've got terrible creatures. <laughs> um, that's, that's what you need, is terrible creatures. You just need terrible creatures to, to, to make this work. Let's do it. Hengegate pathway goes in. Trickster's god. Trickster god's heist goes in. Okay. I don't think we play Waking the Trolls, King Harold's Revenge, Blessing of Frost. Or Dwarven Reinforcements. Do we play Bind the Monster? Yeah. We can play Bind the Monster. If we're playing blue. Blue, white, black, red. Do we play... No. Do we play islands? Well, this, this deck is a mess. How am I going to figure this one out? Maybe second thoughts about buying the monster. It's not going to be very useful if I can't cast it. However, it does help my uh, my double spell plan. Okay, I think um, I'm going to for the moment. I'll drop sacrifice cards. I'm just going to look for creatures and removal. Goldvein pick is too good to drop. It's going to actually fix my mana. Dogged Pursuit is sort of a win condition card. Let's drop it. Draugr Recruiter is just a hill giant. Jol the Forsaken. Yeah, we quite like him. I'm going to try... Uh, this this is basically removal. We're going to try and play this card, I think. Big creature, removal, big creature. Okay. How many lands is that? That seems like a lot of lands. 17. And we, we decide what we're going to put back in from this lot. So yeah, with a crown, it's not going to work against plus one creatures with plus one plus one tokens and equipment and creatures. So not it's not too great. That would be a sacrifice outlet, and would let me draw some cards. Maybe card draw can definitely help you fix mana, and it's a cheap spell, so it could help me double spell. I think what I'll do is I'll just call that end of part one, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, my deck may have changed quite a lot when we get back to part two, but uh, that's off on the way. <laughs>